All right, so I just got the code. And if you want to see like all of this amazing, awesome code, uh, we're building a course right now. And I'm building it with my friend who's a professional developer. And this is a really nice way. There's pair programming and programming, but there's also pair teaching. And so we're doing pair programming and pair teaching. And so I bring all of my expertise at teaching intro classes. <laughs> and teaching, and he brings all of his expertise at using Go professionally. And so we kind of teach together. It's, it's pretty awesome, but uh, a lot of really great stuff. So look for this course, Web Architecture Fundamentals with Go by myself and my friend Daniel. Um, but here's that code, and so I'm just going to paste it all in there. And, uh, and so we have Funk Cat, Moo, Bar, and Foo, and this returns a new error. Cat returns a new error, and then... Uh, Ah, nice. And then funt error f, moo is an error and it calls cat. And then uh, bar is an error and it calls moo. And then foo is an error and it calls bar. And so then down here, we, we, call, we call foo and we get back an error and we could print that error. But then we could unwrap that error and get a base error and that brings us back a level. And we could unwrap that even more and get a base error and that brings us back a level. So when you run this, what that looks like is, and where am I? I'm in 52, I need to go, go run main, is, you know, here on that first error, right, when I print that error, it has all of these levels of information. So I went foo bar moo cat, right? I called foo, and then foo called bar, and then bar called moo, and then moo called cat. And each, and cat threw an error, which then returned that as an error, right? Which then returned this as an error, which then returned this as an error. And so I got all this error information on that first one. Foo is an error, bar is an error, moo is an error, cat is, is an error. From right to left, right? It's telling me. And then unwrap lets me kind of unwrap and go back a level. So down here, I unwrap from that big one, and I come back down to cat's an error, moo's an error, bar's an error, and then I unwrap one more. And so that is in package errors, what unwrap does. And when you use as and is, they are using unwrap to kind of like dig down through all the layers of errors through your call stack, you know, to uh, kind of unpack your error. Anyhow, it's all about providing as much information about your errors as possible. And... Um, documenting it and using errors. So... It's pretty cool. All right, just wanted to provide that example of code.